Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I gotta do it. Who said it was easy work? I've always been able to get in the passenger seat. I don't have to have my hands on the steering wheel. Right. I can pump the gas. I can go get the groceries. Some people get to, to this position and they feel like they have to be served rather than doing the serving. Mm -hmm. And I think to sustain, you gotta always know that a true king loves to serve rather than be served. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. I'm back outside. You know, I can't, well, you know what? I can't go to the concrete block. I could go to C block, you know what I mean? But it's a little wet, so I probably just stand over here. You know, it's still gloomy outside, but sprinkling a little bit, but still feel good. So just want to chop it up with y'all real quick, you know, and show y'all that message. You know, with Snoop Dogg, man, shout out to Snoop Dogg. Actually, it ain't that wet, you know. Yeah, shout out to Big Snoop Dogg, man, for that, you know, for dropping them quick gems, man, because, you know, we do have to know when it's okay for us to step up and when it's good for us to step down. You know what I'm saying? Not every time we got to carry the torch. Not every time we got to be in the driver's seat. Sometimes, you know, we can still do our thing in the passenger seat. You know, and hand over our battles to God. Hand over, you know what I mean? Hand the steering wheel over to people that we can really trust. You know, that really got real love and care for us. You know, it could be your girl, your wife, you know, your brothers. You know what I mean? Real friends, all of that. You just got to know. And that's how you sustain. You know what I'm saying? You got to know when it's okay for you, you know, to be served. And for when you can serve other people, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like Big Snoop say, you know what I mean? Us as men, you know, and a real true king don't want to serve because that's just a part of our DNA. You know what I mean? But it'd be so hard, though. Let me get up. It'd be so hard, though, you know, when you got this masculine energy, like you always want to be there. You know what I mean? You always want to serve. You know, you always want to be that powerful person and you never want to be the one that's in the other side that's getting served and that's needing the help and all that other stuff, man. But, you know, you know, it's hard to turn that off, but you got to know that it's OK to need help sometimes. You know, you got to know that it's OK to hand battles over to the most high and let the most high fight certain battles. You know what I mean? You got to know that it's OK to pray. You know what I mean? First and foremost, you know what I'm saying? Because that's your father. The most high is your father. So it's nothing wrong with praying and asking for help. If I didn't pray and ask for help, man, I wouldn't even be here right now. You know what I mean? I still be lost, probably dead, addicted, all of that stuff under the influence, you know, full of demons, all of that, you know, but you got to understand, man, if you want really, if you really want longevity and you don't want to burn yourself out here, burn yourself out, out here, man, listen, you just got to know when it's a time to step up and step down. You got to know when it's a time, when it's just uh, uh, a time for you to just take that passenger seat and take the load off. You know what I'm saying? You got to know when it's a time to serve and when it's a time to get served, bruh. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing wrong with, you know, sitting back and enjoying the fruits of your labor and letting people serve you. You know, sometimes, you know what I mean? Especially when it when it comes to, you know, when you're successful and all of that, you know, what Snoop Dogg is saying, when you get all, you know, some people get all of this money, they get all this success, they get all this fame, you know what I mean? And then they don't want to serve nobody. They just want to get served all the time. You know what I mean? All the time, they want things bought to them. You know what I mean? But they don't want to help nobody. You know what I mean? They don't want to be that masculine energy. You know what I mean? That head of the household, that king that they supposed to be that's going to uplift people and help people. Instead, it's, no, nah, it's all about me. No, nah, serve me. You know what I'm saying? And then guess what, bro? You know, they ain't no good. You know what I mean? They, don't, they ain't no good, bro. You're not really setting yourself up. You know what I mean? You know, and, 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 
and and heightening your spirits. You're not you're not brightening your spirits when you do that. When you just want to be served like you the king and you're not even praising the real true king, which is the most high. And that's what people do, man. That's when that pride starts to take over. And then they're going to feel a decline in their spirit. They're going to feel a decline in their energy. You know what I'm saying? They're going to feel a decline in everything about them because now they didn't let all of that stuff get to their head. They didn't let all of that stuff get to their head. Now they, now they full of pride. You know, now it's all about them. You know what I mean? Now it's all, oh, I did all of this on my own without no help. So now they ain't even praying like they used to. They ain't even thankful like they used to. They ain't showing gratitude like they used to, bro. And that's very low energy. That's very bad for your spirit. And then, uh, you know, you know, you already know the most high gonna have to step in and humble your dumb ass. You know what I mean? Humble your arrogant ass, your big head ass. Cause now you didn't cross the line. You know what I mean? And like I said, man, you know, you know, it just do something to you when you can actually get out there and help people, though, for real, for real. You know, I know you got to know when it's time to just, you know, just chill out for a little bit and allow people to help you. But, man, it just does something to your spirit when you can actually uplift people, help people. You know what I mean? You know, in whichever way you can. It ain't always got to be about money. You know what I'm saying? It ain't always got to be about, you know, you know, just anything crazy man just however you can help however you can be there you know what i mean that's just what we here for as men that's why we built like this a lot of people don't even know like you know what i mean that's why we built like this this is why we gotta stay healthy you know what i mean that's why we generally have more muscle than women do this is why it's important for us to stay in shape you know what i'm saying so we can serve First of all, we got to serve the most high and then we can serve our families, you know, serve humanity. You know what I mean? Serve the society. That's what we here for. That's what we built for. That's why we be feeling so detached when we do shit like watch porn. That's why we be feeling so detached when we uh, uh, overweight. That's why we be feeling so detached while we under the influence and shit. When we like we when we let demonic energy in our life, that's why we feel so detached. And because we feel helpless. We like shit, I can't even help myself. Who the hell I'ma help? And then that just makes you feel more down and out. You know what I mean? It just drain you of more confidence, drain you of more energy, drain you of more self-love, more, you know, self-respect and dignity and all that shit. You just get drained of everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? You just got no love in you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's because you're not in alignment with yourself, bro. You know what I mean? Now you just doing, you know, all you doing is serving demonic energy. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You will find yourself just serving demonic energy. Serving things that ain't going to do you no well. Serving bullshit. You know what I mean? Serving no purpose, bro. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, bro. That's what, that's what bring a lot of people down. You know what I'm saying? So it's important for you to, you know what I mean? Really keep yourself balanced. And what I mean by balance is, you know, sustainable, just like he said. By allowing both in your life, you know, yeah, we're going to do more serving than anything, but knowing it's okay to be served, knowing it's okay to let some somebody else take the pat, take the driver's side, you know, let the most high take the driver's side and don't stress yourself out so much. Don't burn yourself out so much, man, because it can happen when you feel yourself getting tired, man, go sit your ass down. You know what I mean? You know, when you just feel yourself getting burnt out, overwhelmed, man, just chill out for a little bit. What you think we need our peace for? That's why I be telling y'all, man, a lot of times, man, it just be us, you know, when we doing too much. Us always having to be there for, uh, for, for, for people, us putting the wrong energy in the shit. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it be, it be us with what we trying to do. So it's important for you to have your have discernment in that way too. have good judgment in that way it don't always have to be with you know having good judgment out in the world and you know with different people have good judgment with yourself and good discernment with yourself so you can have good health so you can have your mind straight have your mind right so you can make better decisions so you're not out here burnt out so you don't make a decision that could cost you man because you know if you're not really 
you know what I mean, handling this situ handling these things right with yourself, your health, and your mentality, you could easily drift off into a place where you don't want to be at mentally, spiritually, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? And it happens, bro. It happens, man. So you gotta find that. Find that in you. You know what I mean? I know it's tough, man. Especially when we up. Especially when we feel up, we, we feel like we winning, especially when we making big changes out here, especially when we elevating, especially when we getting better, man. We don't never want it to stop. We be out here, man. Y'all gonna be out in the rain like me. Y'all gonna be out here, man, wind blowing, out here storming and shit, out here getting wet, man. You gonna be out here like me. Cause you like, man, shit, it's up. You know what I mean? But it's okay to sit one out for a little bit, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't telling you to slack or nothing, but it's okay to need help. It's okay to take a rest. It's okay to enjoy your peace. It's okay to hand your battles over to God. You know what I'm saying? Just so you can actually be more helpful when you are back ready to serve, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You won't you won't be half-ass helping people. You won't be half-ass serving people. You won't be half-ass on your purpose. You won't be half-ass in your good energy. You won't be half-ass positive. No, bro. You're going to be all of you because guess what, bro? You manage your life right. You manage your health right. You manage your energy right. You manage your blessings right. Everything about you, you manage right. So guess what? When you come, bro, you ain't half-ass coming. You're going to bring all of you. You're going to bring the best of you. You know what I'm saying? Mugs that can't do it, bro, they mismanage it. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because we want to be, we want to be, we want to be full throttle out here. We don't want to be doing nothing half-assed, especially when it comes to the important things in our life. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. My bad, I keep checking this time, but... I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to be no half-ass father. I don't want to be no half-ass just motherfucker that do shit all the time. You know what I mean? I don't want to be half-ass with nothing in my life. I want to do things with the best energy. You know what I mean? I want to do things with the best intentions. You know what I mean? And that's just the type of time and energy I'm on because I have it. All of y'all have it. Y'all doing the right things in y'all life that's going to have y'all on the next level, that's giving y'all this energy so y'all could be at y'all best. You know what I'm saying? And when it come to this, man, it come great responsibility. But we up for it, bro. We, we some responsible motherfuckers now. I mean, excuse my language. I, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm still trying to stop cussing. But we some responsible mugs right now. Look at what we doing. Look at how we elevate. Look at how we live our life. Look at what we have. Look at look look at how we, look at how we manage our time. You know what I mean? My time used to go into so much negativity, bullshit, nonsense. You know what I'm saying? So understand, man. It's a responsibility behind this too. You know what I mean? So you gotta find your combination on it. Do what works for you and keep moving forward. All right? And that's my word, man. My name JC and the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy work? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy? Who said it was easy work? Somebody must do it, so I gotta do it. Who said it was easy work?